I speak severely to my boy. I beat him when he sneezes, for he can thoroughly enjoy the pepper when he pleases. Hey everyone, welcome back to Wonderland Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about what is one of the absolute worst versions I've ever seen. I think it probably is the absolute worst version I've ever seen. It blows the 1966 Through the Looking Glass out of the water before Sarah and I had pretty much agreed that was the worst version we'd ever seen. It was so painful to get through. I'd rather sit through that thing repeating for 24 hours straight than watch this movie again. This movie was so utterly horrible. I believe that people online refer to this one as the Cinematronic version. It was made in 2010, and... It looks like a little kid drew it, but not like a kid that shows artistic promise and his parents hang his drawings on the fridge. More like the kind of kid that the parents lie awake at night worrying about. This movie was that bad. For starters, this isn't even their own production. This is actually a movie that Sarah, Shana, and I already reviewed. The 1948 radio dramatization version. And in that one... I guess we didn't hate it. We kind of liked it. I guess it was more of the old-timey feeling that we liked. Um, it's not like radio plays are not something that we get, really, these days. So we liked it for the historical value of it. And because we enjoyed the old-timey nature, we were far more forgiving of many of the faults that it had. But with this one, there is no forgiving any of the faults. The, every fault that the radio version had is horribly magnified by the disgusting character designs and horrible animation. The character design is the worst part, but the animation is a close second. The Well, let's start with Alice. Alice looks like a female version of the Nickelodeon show Hey Arnold. Looks like a female version of Arnold. Except this Alice has dead eyes and snaggly gnarled teeth. It, she just looks horrible. I don't know how anyone thought that any of the character designs in this movie were passable. They, they aren't even close to passable. They are so bad. The, the white rabbit, his teeth are what are animated when he's talking, and he has two little holes where his teeth are. It's just painfully disgusting to watch. The mouse in the Ocean of Tears scene, it looks like a lumpy, disgusting potato. Actually, it looks like something else, but this is a family show and I'm not going to say what it looks like. You can figure it out by looking at it yourself. None of the birds look like they're supposed to. The dodo looks like a pelican with some sort of a brain problem. Its tongue is hanging out of its mouth the whole time. Pat and Bill look like bugs. Bill is supposed to be a lizard. I can't remember what Pat is supposed to be, like a guinea pig or something. I don't remember. Either way, they both look like bugs, and they're both disgusting. And all of this is not even as bad as some of the story changes they've made. Things in this movie that they've changed from the original book, probably because they have never read the book. If they had read the book, they would know that when Alice goes to the Duchess's house, there is a frog footman outside who meets with a fish messenger. In this version, they are playing cards for some reason. And the only thing that I can think of is that they never bothered to read the book. They didn't do any research before making this thing. They didn't read the book. They didn't watch any other versions. And if they did watch a version, it was probably the Disney version, because the Disney version does not have the Duchess scene. It's just one more thing to add to how horrible this is that they couldn't even bother to put the right characters in this scene. And then when you go inside the house, the baby is now a mutant pig-baby hybrid. So disgusting. The cook is a rat, an ugly rat. And the Duchess is black for some reason. In any other version, I probably would have thought it was a creative design choice. But for this one, it's like they heard the slightly deep voice on the radio version and thought, oh, that person must be black. I guess if you're rating changes that they made, that's the best change they made, but I hated literally everything else about this scene. The Cheshire Cat is one of the ugliest Cheshire Cats I've ever seen. It's not the worst. 
The worst is probably that old black and white one where the head was sitting on the tree branch looking like it was decapitated. But this one may be a close second. It was just gross looking. It had ugly orange and purple stripes. And of course, like we said in our other review, it had a terrible voice. I think that was one of our biggest criticisms was the Cheshire Cat's voice. It was squeaky and horrible. So that paired with this disgusting design made this one of the worst Cheshire Cats. The Mad Hatter, the March Hare, they look terrible. I guess they're probably two of the better designs in this, but they still look horrible. The Dormouse, they literally just took the disgusting lumpy mouse from the other scene and put new ears and hair on it. It's, it's just as gross. I hated it. And then you go to the castle scene, and the king and queen look like they're supposed to be mildly racist Chinese caricatures. I don't know if they were supposed to be. They only look a little like this, but... I'm assuming the absolute worst about this film because I hated everything about it. The Griffin and the Mock Turtle, I, I don't even know what to say about them. They're so horrible. The Griffin, obviously the person who drew the Griffin, does not have any idea what a Griffin looks like. They must have never read the book. They must have never read any mythology because this Griffin looks like a really gross, ugly, disgusting dragon with snaggly teeth and horrible fat wings. It's just gross. The Mock Turtle, obviously, again, they never read the book because it doesn't look anything like the Mock Turtle is supposed to look. If you've read the book, the Mock Turtle is supposed to look like a part turtle, part cow creature. This is a turtle that has a green monkey tail, green elephant legs, and a beak. It actually looks closer to what the griffin is supposed to look like, even though it looks nothing like a griffin. If you put the griffin and the Mock Turtle together without me having ever seen this and asked me which one the griffin's supposed to be, I would have picked the mock turtle before I picked the griffin. This movie was so bad, I decided that even though I said before that I wasn't going to use my new rating system on any of the Wonderland Wednesday episodes, I decided to do it to this one just because it deserves the terrible rating that I knew it was going to get. So... I wrote it out just for fun. I decided to rate it on story, design, animation, fun, and rewatchability. For story, it gets a zero for plagiarism, because it basically stole the 1948 version. I can't imagine that they got permission to do this. If they did, shame on whoever gave them permission. <laughs> For design, it gets a zero, because this was one of the most atrociously designed movies I've ever watched in my entire life. For animation, it also gets a zero, because everything about this animation was utterly horrible. This was the most lifeless animation that I've ever seen. I hated watching it. For fun, it gets a zero, because I hated watching this movie. And for rewatchability, it gets a zero because I hated watching this movie, and I hope to never see it again in my entire life. Now, like I said in my other video, to get the final rating, you add up all of the ratings, and then divide by however many categories you were using, and you get zero, which is an F. This movie was an absolute failure on every level. I hated it so much. It may be the worst movie I've ever seen. I don't recommend it to anyone except maybe your worst enemy, and even then, it's probably cruel to make them watch something like this. Okay, now that that's over with, let's move on to what you can expect next week. Because it is far better than this one. We're going from one of the worst versions I've ever seen to one of the best versions I've ever seen. We're talking about the 1998 version of Through the Looking Glass. This is the last movie that we watched before I moved back to Ames last summer. It's not my absolute favorite version, but it's probably in my top five. Anyway, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Bye. Soap, soap of the evening, beautiful soup. Beautiful soup, beautiful soup, soup of the evening, beautiful soup, beautiful, beautiful soup.